Here's something I'm sure you haven't heard about IBS. If you're an IBS sufferer, you know someone who is suffering with IBS. The link between EMF exposure, and I'm talking about man-made non-native EMFs and leaky gut. And what are EMFs? Well, these are the electromagnetic fields, whether it's from our cell phones, from Wi-Fi towers, our Wi-Fi routers, basically anything that's plugged in around us is potentially giving off some radiation that can have a negative effect on our cellular structure and function, but also can weaken those tight junctions in the gut. And if you've heard about leaky gut syndrome, I've got other videos on that, so check them out. But we have to make sure that those tight junctions are optimized and if they're not if they're opening up then we can have leaky gut syndrome and a lot of chronic inflammation in our gut but elsewhere in the body as well and with leaky gut syndrome this can definitely cause autoimmune disorders related to thyroid and of course other things as well so this is really important that we focus in on what these EMFs are doing and how that's affecting our gut and that IBS. Now in one study, EMFs did alter the bacteria to make them more resistant to antibiotics, and we're talking gut bacteria here. The pure cultures of Listeria monocytogenes and E. coli were exposed to RF EMFs, so radio frequency EMFs generated by either a GSM 900 megahertz mobile phone simulator and a common 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi router now what the study found was that there was a change and a more resistance to antibiotics in these microorganisms that were exposed to this radiation. It also showed that exposure to the RF EMFs within a narrow level of irradiation, and this was the exposure window, made microorganisms resistant to antibiotics. So what's the tip here? Well, of course, limit your exposure to EMFs and EMF exposure whenever you can. There are ways to mitigate those risks. I've got other videos about that, but today I shared some of the research behind EMF exposure, IBS, and leaky gut syndrome. I hope that you've learned something new here. For more tips though, how to improve your IBS, please check out my video, Nine Tips for IBS. I'll see you there.